Hello and welcome to today's September 9th Second Stimulus Check and Second Stimulus Package Update. If you're a subscribed member of my community, welcome back. I've got some information to share with you today. Okay, now winners of the You Are Amazing uh, hoodie sweater contest have been chosen. And you, if you are a winner, you were alerted via email. I had such a large response to that and such positive feedback that my wife and I are actually going to run uh, another giveaway of hoodie sweaters. So uh, that seemed to be more popular than helping people out with groceries. So we're going to go one more week uh, and get those sweaters out. I'll, I'll go ahead and leave a link below. Okay, uh, you may or may not know, but the new skinny bill from Republican senators is both skinnier and fatter than expected. Instead of being the $500 billion that we were all disappointed in, it actually came out as only $300 billion being even more disappointing. Uh, the reason I say that it's skinnier and fatter is they are going to use $300 billion in new money if they can get it passed by the House of Representatives. Uh, and they're going to take $350 billion of old money from the original CARES Act, combine the two. Uh, they're going to redirect that $350 billion to different parts of the country that need help. Okay, so when they say skinnier bill, they're not just talking about money. This was originally an 1,800-page bill that has been whittled down to 78 pages. It is named the Safe to Work Act. Um, kind of a dumb name if you ask me. <laughs> okay, this new bill gives money to schools. It uh, extends the federal unemployment boost to $300 a week until the end of 2020. So it's lower than many people expected, but longer in duration than many expected. Uh, this needs to pass quickly as the FEMA money is expected to run out in most states in the next three weeks. So we need Congress to get back to Washington and do something for the American people. It will also provide uh, liability protection for businesses, medical facilities, and school systems. It will also give money to small businesses that can prove that they've been damaged due to the coronavirus lockdown and it will give about $10 billion to the post office. Uh, this bill, sadly, does not include a second stimulus check to the people. Uh, however, this is what they are calling the smaller bill, and just behind it is another bill that is expected to be between one and two trillion dollars. Uh, it is believed that in this larger one to two trillion dollar stimulus package, that's where we will see those stimulus checks that we've all been, been anxiously waiting for since May. Oh, all right, you guys, uh, I, here's what's really going on. You and I are caught in an aggressive game of ping pong between senators and the House of Representatives. Uh, they are smacking us back and forth with little regard for our feelings or our financial hardships. Uh, it appears that they simply just don't care. Um, I, I've not come across one that seemed as if they really cared. I've seen some that have given some intelligent debate to the situation, but I've not really seen a lot of heart from any of our government representatives. So you and I are the ball being smacked back and forth, uh, and they don't care because this just seems like it's all about who has power. So uh, anyway... Just my, just my thoughts on the, the situation. Okay, Republicans are calling this the skinny bill. Democrats are calling this the emaciated bill because it is simply too small. When asked about the new Republican skinny bill, Nancy Pelosi said, what they have is so meager that it insults the intelligence of the American people. Now, this is the first thing I've agreed with Nancy Pelosi on in a long time. Um, it does, it, it, it's kind of insulting. Um, but ugh. Pelosi continued by saying it does not solve the problem. We know we have to negotiate in order to reach an agreement. We all want an agreement. Make no mistake about it, but get serious. 
This gets serious, I believe, is directed uh, right at Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Uh, one thing I will disagree with her on is she says she wants to negotiate and yet has not been coming to the negotiating table. Um, I'm disappointed in both sides. Right now, Republicans control the Senate with 53 members, so it's expected that this, this new watered-down deal will pass on Thursday only to be dead on arrival in the House of Representatives when they finally get back from their vacation. Notice they did not call an emergency session to come in and fight this. They're going to take the rest of the week to uh, let the Republicans embarrass themselves. Uh, my hope is that they will use it to build a better deal that encompasses the real needs of the American people. Mark Meadows of the White House said he's been on late night 9 p.m. phone calls to get this deal done this week. Meadows said he hopes that what they have put forth will be seen as a foundation. Now, this is interesting because this tells me that Mark Meadows does not expect this to be the final bill. So even though I'm disappointed, it's nice to hear that this is the foundation to build upon and not a take it or leave it situation. But again, we'll see once they get back. Um, I don't believe that Republicans expected Democrats to blindly pass this. So I believe that this is a negotiation positioning where they're now hoping to build upon it. Uh, but again, we'll see. Uh, Senator Patrick Leahy of Vermont, who's a Democrat, said he can't understand why Republican senators are afraid to put this bill to a vote. Uh, Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas said, back in spring when we knew so little about this virus, how it would impact our health or the economy, we passed three trillion in relief to help families and businesses get through the worst of the pandemic. The Democrats now, even with all we know, even with cases declining, declining even with the economy reopening, even with record job reports for the last four months, still want a $3 trillion package. Cotton went on to say that Democrats want a blank check to fund their long-standing wish list. That's not what we should do, he said. All right, uh, you know, both, uh, th this is, okay, here's the ping pong. I blame you, I blame you, I blame you, I blame you. <laughs> It's getting kind of old, uh, to be honest. Uh, I, I'll have to admit, right? Uh, it reminds me of a Green Day song that goes like this. Wake me up when September ends. Seriously, I just wish September would be over because it sounds like nothing's going to get done with these representatives just now getting back to Washington. Oh, okay. Now, I will not be doing my YouTube live show this evening. I've had some things come up that I need to uh, deal with, but I hope to be back with you next week. Uh, remember that I have made arrangements for you to get a free copy of the book, Financial Freedom. It's a great book. I'll leave a link below. Uh, let me just remind you that you are amazing. Please, I know that you're going through a lot right now. <sighs> It's hard, it's hard not to let this get you down. I mean, I'm in an advantaged position and this has me down. I can't imagine people in a disadvantaged position. I can only remind you that you are amazing and to not attach your self-worth or self-esteem to anything having to do with the government. I appreciate you being in my community and I'll see you on the next video.